Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Reactor Gator! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Reactor Gator! Oh! Who lives with a dog in Arizona? Jaden Animation! Is socially awkward not acting grown up? Jaden Animation! Who's withering away into non-existence? Jaden Animation! Shout out to Pixel Cherries for creating that awesome Game Theory remix. Be sure to check him out. He's a really talented musician. He deserves some love. Hello, Internet. Welcome to YouTube, Teary. And oh, you must have thought I was joking in the last video, huh? What, you think this is some kind of prank? Oh no, this show is very serious. Well, it seems your ignorance has come back to bite you. For listen up, people. Jaden Animations is dead. DEAD! Uh, Reactigator, no she isn't. She posted a video like, two weeks ago. Eh, by YouTube standards, what's the difference? Alright, fine. Jaden keeps up a pretty consistent upload schedule with like, one video about every two weeks or so. And she's relatively active on Twitter, so she isn't dead. Yet. But if you've been noticing the trends that I have, then you'd see Jaden is rapidly approaching her demise. And I am not just going to sit here and let that happen. So don't worry, Jaden, for investigators on the case. You, you, you get it? Because investigate. As Jaden has grown from her toaster audio and ninja blocking bathroom stall door days, she's brought on her topics, now hosting videos sharing her opinions on airports, New Year's resolutions, and just about anything else. Understandable, considering you only have so many stories to share about twerking dance tunes during your piano lessons. <clears throat> However, I noticed a very peculiar trend of videos arising with Jaden, and this particular topic seems to cram its way into other videos as well. What could this topic be, you might ask? Well, all I can say is, I hope you like dogs. Boom! That's right, Ari. Ari has been showing up more and more in Jaden's videos, and with each appearance, he takes up more and more time. He even makes random cameos in places that really have nothing to do with him. Well, yeah, of course, he's Jaden's pet. It's fun for a cute little innocent animal to show up once in a while. No! Okay, that is your first mistake. Cute little innocent animal. Please. Listen up, people. Ari is pure evil. And by the end of this video, I hope you realize just how terrible he is. The first clue is how Ari treats Jaden. He seems to just want to make Jaden's life as miserable as possible. He pushes stuff off of counters, flings food on the wall, screams all the time, and begs for her attention. To the point where he will come between Jaden and her family and pull her away from her work. Not only that... But people seem to have a great deal of discomfort whenever Ari is in the room with them. Do they feel as if he's a threat of some sort? And I haven't even mentioned the ego he has. Requiring his name to be featured in the title when he barely appears at all, a bunch of merchandise based off of him, including an entire plush, and this next one honestly sickens me. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. What is this, Ari? Jaden built an entire chapel for you to perform rituals of forgiveness, and you still look displeased! Man, why doesn't Jaden just leave him? Surely there are much better dogs out there for her. Well, this is what I fear. I'm making this video because I am afraid Jaden might have fallen to Ari's psychological manipulation. Ari is a very jealous creature, and those who follow through with psychological manipulation typically are very jealous and have a strive for power. And if you ask me, I think I know exactly what Ari wants. I think it's time to properly diagnose Ari, so let's look at the symptoms, shall we? Requirements for successful manipulation. 1. Concealing aggressive intentions and behaviors. Who does this human think it is? I will end them. 2. 
knowing the psychological vulnerabilities of the victim to determine which tactics are likely to be most effective. I also use being sick as an excuse to not talk to anyone because I'm a pathetic shy blob. 3. Having a sufficient level of ruthlessness. You don't even do anything. All you do is eat and scream. Look at this wall! Are you happy with yourself, mister? Still not convinced? Well, let's look even further. Manipulators strive off their victim's need to please. And we saw how Ari fed off of Jaden's need to please by making her feel like she needed to make a special video for Ari's birthday, as well as demanding forgiveness from Jaden through actual worship and still made her feel guilty afterwards. But Ari displays a sense of need for Jaden, a I would die without you kind of behavior, to trick Jaden into believing he's a sweet little thing. And this is how manipulators keep their work going. They tug at their victim's heartstrings to make them feel sorry for them. Ari refuses to be with anyone but Jaden. He makes Jaden feel special because she is the only one who deserves his quote-unquote love. Speaking of which, Ari is extremely protective towards Jaden. He only spends time with her and anyone else that comes in he acts very passive aggressive towards. All of this feels so familiar. It's almost like I've seen it before. Have you ever noticed the similarities between Jacques and Ari? And I'm not just talking about physical appearance. Jacques is also a Bert I mean, dog, owned by a very popular YouTuber who constantly talks down to his owner and even gets physically violent. However, while it's still not a healthy relationship, John is actually capable of standing up to Jacques and telling him who's boss once in a while. But now imagine the same power-hungry control freak having control over someone as sweet and pure as Jaden. He would have full access to obtain all of Jaden's fame. But do you want to know the worst part about all of this? It's working. You see, Ari hasn't just been manipulating Jaden. Ari has actually been manipulating you. Yes, you as well. Have you ever noticed it? Well, how about I help you out? Let's start with the plush. The Jaden plushes are always available. But the Ari plush was a limited time offer, putting more demand on Ari, leaving Jaden as a lower priority, not as important. Honestly, I would much rather have the Jaden plush. Then you could have an excuse to tell all your friends that you sleep with Jaden every night. <laughs> that was a joke, I'm sorry, please don't call the cops. But wait, there's more. Ari related videos have been popping up more and more and you guys keep demanding them. What video started putting Jaden on the trending page? It wasn't random thoughts, that was for Tim Tom- I mean, the odd ones out. Sorry, I get those two mixed up sometimes. Jaden's living with Ari video was popular enough to put Jaden on the trending page for the first time. It gets even more disturbing when you watch that video and notice how Ari's manipulation has gotten Jaden to believe that all species of birds are called Ari's. You guys constantly draw fan art of Ari. You make him so popular that he has his own result on Akinator. You create Twitter accounts for him. He is the official profile picture for Jaden's Twitter account. Did you notice any of this? Did you even care? Ari is stealing your heart away from Jaden. He is a parasite, leeching all of Jaden's fans off of her. Soon, he actually will be the center of attention, and Ari Animations will be the official name throughout all social media, and there will be no need for Jaden anymore. And when there's no need for Jaden. <laughs> But hey, that's just a theory. Not a theory, a theory. In other words, a complete crap post. Tune in next time to see the mental instability of Peanut Butter Gamer. Thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful dip. <laughs>